Today on the channel, speak to me, Warriors! Jax Classic Superstar Series 3, The Ultimate Warrior Unboxed. Welcome everyone, Kyle here, and welcome back to the channel for another Jax Classic Superstars deep dive and review, but today, an unboxing, an old-fashioned unboxing of a Jax Class Superstars figure, and as you guys know, we talk Jax Class Superstars every single Tuesday on the channel for almost two years at this point, uh, and we've done a lot of reviews, we went through line by line, hopefully you guys have checked those videos out, if not, subscribe to the channel, check out the Jax Class Superstars playlist, and there's a lot to learn, a lot to be seen in those playlists, but today, I figured it was time to do an unboxing, Jax Class Superstars, the ultimate Warrior Series 3 we have today here. As you guys know, I have an Ultimate Warrior collection. I got a mint on card set. I got a set in my detail of all my loose ones and everything else. But I also have an office. Yes, Kyle goes to an office to work. And I have an Ultimate Warrior collection at my office as well. And one that I was missing, Jax Class Superstar Series 3. I have almost every other one there. I needed a loose one. Well, I got this one here. Beat up, destroyed packaging. Perfect to be unboxed. The figures minty mint. Packaging, not so much, so I thought we'd sacrifice this one to an unboxing and review and give us a little change of pace in our Jax Classic Superstars videos. But of course, we're going to do this like we do all the other unboxings on the channel. We're going to take a look at the packaging, we're going to talk about it, we're going to unbox it, we're going to talk about it, we're going to see where it goes from there. So let's look at the packaging first quick on this Ultimate Warrior. And for the glamour shots, I'm going to get a nice crisp one off the wall in my collection, as this is uh, pretty ugly. It's faded, it's beat up, it's, it's seen better days. But we got Ultimate Warrior right there. Beautiful title belt. Well, I shouldn't say beautiful title belt. You guys know I like the deluxe classic title belts in my class of superstars. The regular ones really don't do a whole lot for me. They're just a little bit much. Uh, class superstars logo at the very top. We love that classic superstars banner. You know for, you're in for a good time when you see that. Nice glamour shot of the warrior on the side, of course. Ultimate Warrior is name right there on that side. And then the back of the package where a lot of the magic happens. We got the blurb, tail of the tape. We'll read that. Class Superstars logos, Jax logos, uh, cross cells, UPCs. Then you got the rest of Series 3. You got the Undertaker, a TTL Undertaker, Titan Tron Live, of course. Uh, big misstep by Jax with that one. Superstar, uh, Superstar, <laughs> Jimmy Snooka, Jimmy Superfly Snooka, I should say. Jake the Snake Roberts, of course. Million Dollar Man, Teddy Biasi, and of course, Brett Hitman Hart rounding out series three for us so let's get after it let's unbox the ultimate warrior here trying to figure out the best way i think we can go through the bottom i might be able to just slide him out through the bottom as well can i get it can i make it happen whoa there it is perfect see you later up high there it goes how about a little plastic prison on the ultimate warrior boy it's been a long time since i've opened up a classic superstars figure but I'm here for it. I like it. But there's the old warrior. Soft, good tassels on the feet. Gotta love it in the plastic prison. Let's pop him out. Let's pop the title belt out. Let's get it going here. See you later up high. Will he have the Jax Classic Superstars, or Jax, I should say, sticky disease? He does not. That eh, No, nope, take that back. He's got a little stickiness in the hair. That's always unfortunate. And that's usually where we do see it with these Jax figures. Uh, but man, I love this figure. I've had this figure so many times. Like I said, I already have a loose one in my collection. This one's for my office. I have one in my wall in my Class Superstars room. Uh, it's this warrior all the time over here at my house. Uh, but nice, different warrior. This is not one of his most iconic looks. This is more of the teal-colored one. But man, I like it. I love the tight joints. There's nothing quite like tight joints on a Ruthless Aggression-style figure. As we do know, they are prone to breakage. They're prone to looseness, especially if they're heavily played with. But right out of the pack, they're ready to go. And Ultimate Warrior just looking good. I always liked the Ultimate Warrior Jax figures. I thought they were really good, especially when you go back in time. Always time travel a little bit. Put your old 2004 hat on, for instance. Uh, very, very good figures for the time. Still hold up to this day. Obviously, Mattel taking things to another level, but they should. If Mattel was making the same quality as Jax was making you know, 17, 18 years ago, 15 years ago, 10 years ago, uh, there'd be something to say about Mattel. But uh, still, good moment in time figure. I'm here for it. Of course, it's Ultimate Warrior. I love it. But I love the soft, good tassels here. Multicolored as well. Both arms have those. Uh, and then the feet down here at the boots. They are removable if you so are so inclined to remove them. But he does have the nice pink, hot pink, neon pink tassels. And then you got other tassels here. Very, very cool. You got decorations there on his knee pads. 
Face paint. Now, this is a face paint, even me. I don't even really remember this face paint. So I don't know if this is an amalgam of something, a miss, a mixed match of Ultimate Warriors, a design piece. Not exactly sure. Uh, I should be a better expert than that. But still, it is good. It's got his long hair. Uh, Warrior known for his beautiful flowing locks. I uh, just absolutely love it. Uh, it comes with a fisted hand, of course, and a gripping hand. Warrior's got his fist ready to go. Has his white boots. Just a very, very colorful figure. Uh, beautiful Ultimate Warrior logos all over the trunks. Just a lot to like about this. Not my favorite in the uh, Classic Superstars Ultimate Warriors. We'll get to that here in a second. He does come with the yellow intercontinental title. Now, I like the yellow here, but the title belt just so bland, so drab. I just don't like it at all. But at least we get an accessory with the Warrior, so I'm here for that. Uh, but outside of the title belt, a strong figure. Not his most iconic look. Not one that jumps off the page that, hey, I remember this Ultimate Warrior. But it's still the Ultimate Warrior. It's still cool. It's still face paint. It's still colorful. It's what you want in an Ultimate Warrior figure. Just absolutely beautiful. I'm here for it. Series 3 Ultimate Warrior, sign me up all day long. I'll take another one. Get me another one. But let's grab some other Ultimate Warriors we got here. Uh, boy, I'm trying to go off memory here. Is this Series 7? I always like this one, and I'd like to see Mattel do an Elite. We got somewhat of a basic version of this one uh, with the, kind of just the face paint on his cheek. I want a, a traditional one with no face paint. There's still some Ultimate Warriors to get for us from Mattel, and I hope they keep putting them out with a couple every single year. Uh, that would be good. But I always like this warrior here. This is a really good one as well. Later, uh, I want to say, gosh, WrestleMania, or not WrestleMania, uh, Classic Superstar Series 14, 17, something like that. Uh, very good. A very plain Jane Ultimate Warrior, but a very good-looking Ultimate Warrior. And just the, the yellow, black, and white. Uh, not neon colors, but, man, it works. It's just a powerful, good-looking Ultimate Warrior right here, of course. Then you get the WrestleMania 6 2-pack with Hulk Hogan with the battle-damaged Ultimate Warrior. I always thought that was neat with the face paint falling off, stuff like that. Very iconic from his WrestleMania 6 match where he triumphantly defeated Hulk Hogan, as we know. And then, can't forget, a year later, he retired the macho man has anybody ever had a better year year and a half than ultimate warrior nobody nobody has uh ultimate warrior then you got the traditional classic superstars series one ultimate warrior to go alongside that one wrestlemania i keep saying wrestlemania classic superstars series 12 uh we know this one this is a fabulous ultimate warrior uh package in package you should, he's facing this way he's facing this way you gotta have both versions uh if you're me uh for sure but if you're you you should as well uh, and then you get this weird Ultimate Warrior. This one was always strange to me. It's probably my least favorite classic superstars Ultimate Warrior. As I, he looks like he's huffing and puffing. He's going to blow your house down. Which I guess he did kind of do that kind of stuff. But it just looks weird how he's got the big puffy cheeks. Like he's got all the air in there. It's just a strange, strange look. And then he's got the Terminator singlet going on. Uh, it's just a very, very interesting Ultimate Warrior. And I would probably put this in my top five least favorite Ultimate Warriors. It's got some stuff I like, but more stuff I don't like, which is very rare in Ultimate Warrior and Ultimate Warrior figures. But I still say it, the the worst Ultimate Warrior figure is still better than the best of some other figures out there, at least for an Ultimate Warrior fan like myself, of course. But there's kind of the Murder's Row Jack's Classic Superstars lineup that I just grabbed from my case real quick. This one from Series 3, going to have a great home, of course, at my office. Uh, we'll see how that goes. I know I've shown pictures of that in the past. But I love it. I'm here for it. The more Ultimate Warriors, the better. Mattel, keep them coming. But Classic Superstars, really where we fell in love with Ultimate Warrior figures. Yeah, we love the LJN. That's still my favorite. You got the Hasbros. But to get modern era versions of the Ultimate Warrior with the modern technology really hit home at this point. And then we've seen, as we talked about, Mattel taking it even to the next level here in this day and age. And I'm sure they will continue at two as well. So there's the Ultimate Warrior Classic Superstars here. A little quick unboxing, a little something different for our Tuesday Jacks Classic videos. Let me know your thoughts on this one. Was this your favorite one? Were you kind of like me? It was kind of just there. Not the most iconic look, but an interesting one. Let me know your thoughts with this one. Uh, make sure you subscribe to the channel. Hit the old notification bell. Like this video. Give it the old thumbs up. You've made it this far. And find me on social media at SirPaul64 on Twitter, Instagram, the underscore Kyle underscore Peterson. And of course, ProWrestlingTees.com. Search Kyle Peterson. So for the Ultimate Warrior, I am Kyle. I will see you guys all real soon.